82, 83. I'm at 82, 83, 84, 84, 84, 84, 84, 84, 84, 84, 84. 85. 85, 86. It's counting down. 86. 3, 2, 1. So, 8,000. Fam. Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Dr. Vlad in the house and welcome back to part three. In this video we're gonna start working on this beast. Uh, we're gonna remove the front bumper, fender, uh, also I gotta change one of the control arms on the suspension and we're gonna start working our way to the back. I gotta repair a couple of doors and a quarter. So super excited and uh, if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe and turn on your bell notification because we post new videos every week, new week, new video. So you guys don't want to miss on any of that content and I'll give you guys 5 seconds to subscribe. Go subscribe now. So thank you and enough of this talk and let's get back to this. So yeah, let's take a closer look. So yeah, bumper is damaged, so I'm gonna throw this bumper away, I don't need it. I am getting a new bumper. Uh, headlight is damaged as well, so we're actually gonna get 2013 headlights. I got a new fender already, used fender, it's black, so perfect. I don't have to jump the fender. Also gotta do a little bit of work on the suspension because the gaps are too close up here so i think one of the control arm is bent and then also little damage on the door there's a ding right here and little scrapes so i gotta do a little bondo but nothing major and same with the back door and quarter is little damaged as well so minor repair but we are going to paint the whole side and also the rear bumper i'm getting a new rear bumper as well and another thing the mirror is damaged as well so we're, we're going to replace both mirrors because i'm getting the s63 amg body kit conversion front bumper side skirts rear bumper exhaust and both mirrors and the uh, headlights and tail light so this thing's gonna look insane once i'm done with it so let's start removing the bumper the fender and we'll change the control arm just removed the bumper and the headlight but everything looks so clean and brand new even the radiators look like brand new so yeah no damages here but look how clean everything is and it's behind the headlight so a couple of metal brackets got bent so we'll just order new ones but everything else seems to be good yeah none of the wires are ripped yeah, just I gotta replace this and this. So I'll just order new ones. And that's it. So let's remove the fender next. And in order to remove the fender, I gotta remove the rocker molding. Because there's three screws holding the fender. So we'll start with the rocker molding and then the fender.
remove the fender and everything looks clean underneath the fender and like I said there's four bolts one two three four two over here and two at the bottom holding the fender but yeah if you guys look everything is perfect no damage whatsoever so we could put the new fender now and we're pretty much ready for bundle on the doors and then also I feel like this control arm might be bent as well so I got a new one I'll change that one out as well the new fender used but in good condition it looks like no bodywork has been done on it so it's super clean and the paint looks original I checked it doesn't look like it was painted so yeah really good condition fender so we'll install that real quick right now but check this out just a little example so I got the used fender right and look at this so this is the little rubber that goes between the fender and the door so look at this condition so it looks like the car has been driving everywhere and then look at this one this thing is like brand new Are you kidding me look how clean this thing is still like soft and stuff like that so yeah the car's been parked somewhere for well, they, they they only put they only put 700 miles a year so the car was parked obviously at the garage and just probably went to the store and back and that's it That is it guys, fender is installed, looking good, gaps are perfect, like nothing ever happened. Let's take a closer look. Boom, look at those gaps, perfect. Same with the door, pretty much we're done with the front end, so tomorrow we'll change the control arm and hopefully we're done with the suspension and we'll start working on the doors. So yesterday we're all finished with the fender, gaps lining up good like I said. So right now we'll put the car in the lift and we'll change out the suspension. Because as you guys could see, look, the wheel is like little to the side. So one of the other control arms is completely bent as well. You can't really see it, but it's little tweak. So we'll put it on the lift and switch it out real quick. the Mercedes on the lift so let's take a closer look I know some of you guys been asking like when they pick up the car with the forklift do they damage any undercarriage so let's take a closer look and find out we'll start with the front end everything looks good no damages wow this thing is spotless so yeah not, not even scrapes so the way those see this is the only thing but this is dirt so wow this thing is spotless underneath see the like little marks that's the only marks you get from the forklift but everything else is perfect clean a 
Yeah, everything clean. So just little marks. Wow, this thing is spotless. So yeah, there you guys go. Nothing gets damaged when they pick it up carefully with the forklift. It's pretty safe in my opinion. So if the driver of the forklift knows what he's doing, he'll pick it up very carefully and load it up for you. But you guys saw it, there you go. So let's remove the wheel and change out the suspension, the rest of it. That is it, suspension is completely off, so let's take a look. So yeah, I already replaced this control arm, so now I'm going to replace this one. And also the whole knuckle, bearing and knuckle, just do it once for sure, we'll be on the safe side with this one. And I'm going to keep my original rotor and my caliper. But yeah, something like this, slowly coming together. That is it guys, I changed the whole suspension, now we should be back in business. Let's take a look. Change both of the control arms, uh, change the knuckle completely. And yeah, so now it looks a lot better. Because before it was like leaning that way, but now it looks a lot better. So yep, we're back in business. So now I could install the tire bag and lower the car. And ready for body work. I'm working on a Mercedes. Pops decided to do a couple of donuts around here. Pops decided to do a quick send for the boys. But yeah, I got the suspension, everything is good. So we're ready for body work. Oh yeah, учитесь, мальчики. Папе 60 лет, он донат закрыт. He said, Pops is 60 years old and he still knows how to do donuts. <laughs> Funny guy. But yeah, we got this band, we also got one more band. Он будем опять тянуть машину, это у нас был перерыв. 
She said, she said we took a little break from this, but they're back on this Mercedes. This one got pretty messed up. The pillar, the, the rocker. 63 AMG. But yeah, happy Friday, they say. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buff this whole side on the Mercedes. Uh, both doors and see uh, I think some of those might come out I'm gonna need to do any body work on it because it feels pretty straight like both the doors and then just little on the quarter right here so yeah we'll just buff this right now and see what it looks like and we'll go from there why not side polished buffed and polished and all the marks came out that's crazy so the two doors are completely perfect with no damage but the only thing on on the front door has a little scratch let's check it out yeah right here a little scratch right here and right here so we're gonna have to repaint the door because of this i want this thing to be perfect but and little thing right here but everything else came out perfect doors so the doors are good and then the quarter i got a little scrape right here right there and a thing right here so you have to repair this real quick right now and and pretty much the car is ready for paint <laughs> man i'm so pumped and excited about this well it's just coming along perfectly Perfect! Couldn't be any more happier. Wow, this thing is amazing. I think this is one of the best purchase I ever got. And you guys ask, hey Vlad, you're so happy in this, because look at this, how can you not be happy? Like, I love Mercedes very much, but especially when you get a brand new Mercedes, it's game over, game over. So that's why I'm super pumped. I didn't even get excited like that about buying Ferraris or Porsches. But this is definitely classic, original, brand new car. So that's why. So I end up getting a new shock as well, because that one has little damage. And since the car is so new, I just can justify in putting this uh, shock back on. So we finally got it today. I removed the old one and we're going to install the new one. So let's take a closer look. So yeah, here's the old one and here's the new one. See, the old one had a little thing in here, so I had to change it. I can't I can look at this. But yeah, we got a new one, so we'll slap this one on real quick and we're good to go. Done with the suspension completely and if you guys remember, I had a bunch of lights on my cluster, ABS and that kind of stuff so i got my computer right now i'm gonna scan the car and get rid of those lights hopefully we'll see right now so yeah i got two codes stored so i'm gonna go back right now and clear them let's go back erase codes yes codes has been erased successfully all right, so everything is erased, and let's try to... Boom! That is it. Nothing's on the cluster. Uh, the only thing I got is the tire pressure, but that's... And the lights, because everything disconnected. And the tire pressure, because I have the spare tire on, so... But other than that, we're good to go, codes are erased and uh, nothing on the cluster. <laughs> Done with the suspension, new fender, so now we could repair the quarter and ready for paint. But the car drives nice, we'll take it for a little test drive. So nothing on the cluster, just a little tire pressure. 
gotta do alignment, the steering wheel is a little off, not a biggie, but yeah, it drives amazing, wow, so quiet and soft and stiff and tight, amazing, <laughs> I love it, I'm in love with this S-Class, the best car I ever bought, no joke, all jokes aside, but this, this is the best of the best. I'm like in love with it. Everything about this car, I love it. I, I already have the same one, 2009, but mine has 65,000 miles, so. Once I'm done with this one, I'm gonna sell my other S-Class. So if anybody's interested, hit me up. I'll give you guys a good price. It's fully done with the S63 conversion and all that good stuff, so. Yeah, I'll show you guys that car later on too. It got 22 inch wheels, black on black, clean, I think two owners or something like that. But yeah, beautiful car. For part three, stay tuned for part four. And part four, we're gonna start doing the body work, getting this bands ready for paint and we'll start painting. And also I got the bumpers coming any day now, the whole S63 conversion, headlights, tail lights, bumpers, side skirts, mirrors. So we'll start painting that too. We'll paint the bumpers separate and then we'll spray the car. So stay tuned for that. And then if you're new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on your bell notification because I post new new videos every week new week new video you guys don't want to miss out and that's a wrap so i'll catch you guys in the next video До свидания.